Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and good news today about one of my favorite foods, avocados. Turns out eating avocados can actually lower your bad cholesterol numbers. Downside is they tend to be pretty high in calories, so how can you get those benefits without adding the pounds? Epic Review Guys. Have you shied away from avocados because they look kind of weird on the outside and they're green on the inside? Well, let me tell you, my youngest daughter, who is one of the pickiest eaters I have ever met, loves avocados and guacamole. Now it's lunchtime here, and I'm going to have some avocado, but having two large avocados will give you close to 700 calories, so let's reduce that. And I'm also going to have just half of this avocado. What I'm going to do, basically, to get the avocado benefit and to make it into a mini meal, but not to get all the calories, is take one half of one large avocado, it's about 170 calories, mix it with fresh salsa. This list of serving size is two tablespoons, which is all of 10 calories. So actually this entire container is just 160 calories. And with half an avocado, I'll probably mix about a third of this. I will now share with you the things I have learned about avocados since I first tried them. I don't think I had an avocado till I was in my early 20s. Went on a rafting trip on the Wenatchee River with Uncle Bonsai, my favorite band. And um, somebody had made guacamole and I very trepidatiously tried it and I loved it and I've loved avocados ever since. Now you want to find them about this color. If they're a lighter green, they're probably not ripe yet. But the way you tell with avocados, if you have always wondered this, and I've had people come up to me in the supermarket when I'm picking out avocados because we have them several times a week. How do you know if those are ripe? Well, if, if you push on it gently and it gives way and squishes, it's way too ripe. You don't want that. If it's rock hard, you don't want that either. What you want is an avocado. It's firm around the middle, but up here around the top where it came off of the tree, this part should have just a little bit of give to it. Comparing these two avocados, just sort of rotating them in my hand, giving it just the slightest pressure here and a little bit with the thumb and forefinger. This one's a little bit further along, so this is the one that I'm going to use today. So take your avocado and wash it, and then I will show you how to cut open an avocado and remove the meat, as shown to me by my father-in-law, an actual authentic Mexican. Now the word avocado comes from the Aztec language, so folks there should know how to open up an avocado. By the way, over our um, holiday, we did some traveling in Mexico, went to Mexico City and actually climbed the Pyramid of the Sun. I'll put a link to that video up here, just in case you're interested. So we've got our two halves of the avocado. Looks pretty good. Sometimes you get it wrong and you don't have to be off by much when it starts to turn black. Um, basically from people who had the avocado before you and were squishing it to see if it was ready, it gets slightly bruised. And you can just cut that portion out and use the part that's still bright green. Also, it does tend to oxidize very quickly. So whatever you're not gonna use, cover it up in saran wrap, get it out of the air. What I'm going to do with the portion that I'm going to use, which would be the part that has the pit right here, so I'll show you how to remove that, is to add either lemon juice or lime juice. This will stop it from oxidizing as fast and it makes it taste better. To remove the pit, if you've cut it halfway through the avocado, you should have about half of it sticking out. So you need a sharp knife, watch your fingers and thumb, and you basically cut into the top of the pit slightly here. That gives you the leverage to pry it up and out and then get rid of that. Now some people want to grow avocado trees and we actually bought a plant and tried to grow an avocado tree till we got a freeze a couple years ago and it killed it before we got any fruit. And you can take the pit of this, put um, some toothpicks, stick toothpicks in both sides or four sides, put it in a cup so that half of it is in the water and it will often grow out roots. You can plant that in your yard, it will grow into a tree, but it will not produce any avocado. If you want to have and I assume if you're going to grow an avocado tree, you'd like to have the avocado to eat. You have to grow it from a cutting of a producing avocado tree. So pit out of the way. You now take your half of the avocado and you, it, it should be fairly easy to slide the knife through. Cut it right down the middle there and through the meat. Do it again over here, but at a little bit of an angle. And here too, also at an angle. Then Put the knife in right along the edge of the skin, right where you made that top cut. 
slide it around and then you should be able to pop out everything that you cut without the skin and it looks good I don't see any black on it again sometimes you'll find that some of it somebody got a little over enthusiastic with the squeezing before you and so it, it has little uh, bruises that come through and I just cut those out and don't use them now on the other side same thing slide the knife along inside the skin very nice here's what we have thanks to my father-in-law for showing me how to get the avocado out of the skin now many people will add some salt to this including my wife but I tell her I don't think it needs the salt because especially if you eat it with chips you've got the salt there there's salt if you're gonna mix it with salsa or make your own there's salt added there we don't need any more salt but some habits from the old country die hard so take your lemon or lime juice and sprinkle liberally Okay. then with a fork that has a strong handle because you don't want to bend it especially if your avocado wasn't quite as ripe as you thought cutting it into a little bit smaller pieces then just take the fork and mash it my youngest daughter often gets this job we always tell her she makes the best guacamole we've ever tasted that keeps her doing this if you chose well with your avocado this should be the consistency of what you have now now this really isn't enough to make a meal out of so this is where the salsa comes in and pricing will vary by the way a lot of avocados come from Mexico we pay for a large avocado most of the year about a dollar and a half when they get an abundance of them it'll drop to a dollar and when they're in short supply sometimes as much as two dollars we regularly visit Seattle and I've seen they're usually a fair bit more up there so the further they have to transport them from Mexico the more you can expect to pay this 16 ounces of fresh salsa from our local HEB supermarket goes for around three dollars you can get this as spicy as you like it doesn't usually add to the price I like this mild sweet onion one if I set up cameras for a cooking show I could probably give you a better shot of this but this is as far as I can tip it without spilling it this is what the salsa looks like with all the vegetables mixed in there it's um, very nice when you open it up has a very nice tangy smell and again the salsa is very low calorie so go crazy as crazy as you like with it now my preference is about a 50 50 mix of the salsa with the guacamole you can you could mix a guacamole with the entire thing of salsa and really have quite a volume of food if that's what you were looking for but I think it dilutes the avocado too much and then I don't get the taste I think that looks about right take the fork and mix it all together here's the finished product the better part of a bowl full of uh, avocado with salsa the cost for this is about a dollar fifty and the price in calories of this is about 220 so really not bad for such a healthful dish but now comes the next big decision do you do carrots and stay healthful and add almost no calories to eating this or celery would be the same celery comes with the spoon shape so it's easier to shovel it in a little faster or do you give in to temptation and go with chips tortilla chips really do complement the taste of this dish best it would be my first choice just going by taste but for a one ounce serving you're looking at about 135 calories now another thing that tastes good is um, pita chips I don't know if you've tried these they're also thick and crunchy and sort of bowl shaped so good for eating this type of thing a little bit better in that it's 110 calories here and it doesn't have the saturated fat but either way by the time you're done eating this you're going to more than double the 220 230 calories that you have here you're getting closer to 500 calories for your meal so that's your call my, my personal choice I'll I'll go with the middle ground here I have the pita chips give this a try pretty good shape and size for scooping like a spoon good as always so we always knew avocados were healthy and now there's this newly discovered health benefit that they will actually lower your bad cholesterol and here's a way you can enjoy them without gaining the weight all right I'm starving it's lunchtime at Epic Review guys we search far and wide late night infomercials we never take sides click in the corner come join our tribe honestly we want to see you subscribe